Okay, welcome back all you soapers and soapies, and welcome to the soap room. Heather here. Um, today, I'm going to be making soap like a crazy person. But I'm going to start out with peony. Um, I'm starting all my uh, Valentine's and spring stuff to get it early spring to get uh, that stuff ready and get it cured for the website. Again, the website's up. Um, the first 20 orders I get, I will be anything over 50 on the first, if you, let me rephrase. If you order over $50 within the 48 states, you get free shipping. Also, the first 20 orders I receive, I will be adding $25 of free product into your box also. So it could be soaps, bath bombs, wax melts, whatever. Um, but um, I will be doing that. So let's get back to this bat. Just Penny from True Set. Um, again, that's a local company for me. Fillmore Container. Um, I'll link everything down below in the description. Also, my uh, colors are always from Nurture Soap. Um, the first one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pipe this whole thing and swirl in the, in the inside. I'm either going to draw swirl, hang or swirl, both, whatever. Um... So, for the leaves, I'm using Savage Garden from Nurture Soap. And for the peonies, I'm doing the three traditional colors, which is white, pink, and red. I know they make peonies now in an array of colors. I think they're awesome, like the orange and the yellow. I think it's a different breed of peony, but um, we're going to do the original one. So, for the pink... I'm going to use Flower Girl from Nurture Soap. And for the red, I'm going to use Queen of Hearts from, the, from Nurture Soap and their Titanium Dioxide. But I have it mixed up in my little hair dye bottle. Another thing, bottles are cheap at Sally's. They ex, they're, they're great mixing bottles for your TD with water. The little cap, you just shake it up and you're ready to go. I pre-mix that like maybe once a week and it lasts me all week for soaping. So, let's get this started. Um, in my pots, my oils, my colloidal oatmeal, my kaolin clay, and my lye, of course, is the lye and is um, Tussa Silk Fibers. So, let's get that in here. first before we do anything. Okay. Flower girl. <clears throat> Excuse me. Scooping in here. Oh no, this is Queen of Hearts, sorry. Should be good, but we will find out. Flower girl. It should be good there. 
And now the green. I'm only going to use a little bit of the Savage Garden because I don't want it as dark as it is. But because peony um, leaves are on the darker side. We're going to see how that looks. Okay, let's get this mixed up. I don't want to use my big one. Oh, geez. We'll use a small one. Okay, start light. Yeah, it's definitely moved, but I think they might have reformulated this, to be honest with you. Because it used to move a lot faster than this. A lot faster. So just use about half of this. Because... I need most of it for the top, but I don't need much for the top. And we'll pile most of this in. That looks about good for the top. It looks like enough. The pink got real thick, but still okay. That should be plenty to cover the top. We can use more of this green. The leaves don't take up that much. That should be fine for the leaves. Now. I'm going to take a hanger to it. Okay. Now, putting my hanger on. If, again, if you don't know the reason why I don't take my hanger apart is because the top part actually helps you swirl it more. So, Bang her down. And I'm going to put just a little bit more of this on. I mean, just a little. That should be fine.
Okay, let's get to decorating this. Um, get my bags cut open. Okay. First, I'm going to start with some red flowers.
that is done. So now this will be ready at the end of January. This will most likely be released in my February release. I am going to be having Valentine's subscription boxes, so I'm not going to make very many. So if you want them, grab them. Every month I'm going to do a subscription box. I know I've been saying that from the beginning, but getting the website up and everything has been just a pain. We're going to get this cut into some logs first, and then we're going to get it cut into bars. Wow, that looks awesome, absolutely awesome. This one, uh, I think we did a drop and then I took a hanger to it too. Okay, now we'll get her cut into bars. I love these molds my husband made me, but oh my god, are they a pain to line for me. Okay, so let's just cut this end off. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so. <clears throat> Might have to turn this one on its side. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So, bam, I'm going to flip her on its side. Razor down with some alcohol. Okay. Yeah, man, look at that. We are. Those are some beautiful bars. That hanger swirl with the drop swirl is my favorite technique it just it never muddies it it just brings so much more depth and character to the soap i think that one's really nice now i did three piping soaps in a row um that's just piping, I mean, no in-beds. Um, I do like my in-beds, but I do like to pipe, too. So, sometimes I have to, and sometimes I just like to make regular old soaps like this with nothing on top but some glitter. Once you're a soap maker, it doesn't really matter. I mean, you have your favorite ways to make soap and decorate it but if you're a soap maker you don't care what way really you just want to make soap that really got some good swirling and it got over to the sides this is even the sidebar this isn't even the middle bar this is the end and usually at the end sometimes you don't have it mixed in so well but this one definitely got there so if you need a floral peony, this one is the one for you from, for, um, from True Scent, which is Fillmore Container. 
I know a lot of you out there that also make candles. Um, I used to. Um, Fillmore Container is an excellent source for jars and wax. They're in Pennsylvania. They're in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, which is where I was born and raised. And we didn't move very far. We just moved across the, the river into York County. So... I know this video will be put out most likely, I don't know, probably after Christmas, but maybe before. But if it is after, I hope you all had a really nice holiday and had fun, didn't drink too much. And, uh enjoyed your time off if you had some time off and my husband usually has off the whole week of Christmas which is very nice because he works so much and it's usually just me and the dogs here at home but I have plenty to keep me busy plenty and this smells wonderful. It smells just like a peony. So if you love the smells of peonies in the spring, they're a beautiful flower. The only thing that I don't like much about them is the ants, but I get them off with water. I run them underneath water before I bring them into the house. If anybody else has a better way that the ants aren't a problem with panties leave it down in the comments below and I'll read them and get back to you but the only thing that I've ever found but then again I haven't googled it was uh, just to run it under water and then they kind of just fall off and then you're good to go Here, that's a sample bar Let's get, I think I'm going to do the middle long to see how that looks in the middle. I'm going to take you through just a couple bars of the middle log and then we will fast forward and I'll see you at the end. So let me flip this again. And... Let's see how these middle bars turned out. They got a lot of the pink in them, which is cool. I did it again, the green and a pink and a red because green for the, the uh, leaves and the foliage and white, pink, and red because of that's the standard colors of peonies, but like I said in the beginning, I know peonies come in a wide array of colors now. Because I'm big into flowers too. I garden a lot. I grow as much food as we can and put it up for the winter. Well, fall and winter, I should say. Even early spring. But, um... Oops, I didn't want to put that there because I don't want my thing to open. So, let me show you two more. And then I'll see you at the end. One more. And this one coming up is really cool. It has a lot of white, but it has all the colors in it. Look at that. That is awesome. Look at that hanger swirl. You can see it. Yep. All right. I'll see you back here at the end.
please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below. It would be greatly appreciated. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Everything will be down in the description box. Um, so, I do hope that you had a wonderful holiday. Or if we do get this out before the holiday. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, and I hope you have a good one.